Hi, Curious Chicks here. Did you know that over the course of a lifetime, the average American uses over 20 gallons of toothpaste? And even though you're spitting most of that out, it's, those chemicals are still making their way into your bloodstream. And your mouth is one of the most absorbent places in your body. Yeah, and some of those chemicals that are in toothpaste, like triclosan, sodium lauryl sulfate, fluoride, artificial sweeteners, all these chemicals are in our toothpaste and they get into our mouths and then into our bloodstream. And think about the children, they have a hard time not swallowing the toothpaste, so all those chemicals are actually going into their bloodstream too and having even greater effects. So we were curious to try making our own homemade toothpaste and seeing how it compares to regular toothpaste. So for this recipe, you're going to be using baking soda, and that helps to polish teeth, remove stains, freshen breath, and it's also less abrasive. We'll also be using sea salt, which real sea salt can treat most tooth and gum issues. It also contains a lot of trace minerals that are good for keeping your teeth strong and healthy. One thing you should note is that you should not use regular table salt. It must be sea salt. And then you can also use peppermint or spearmint oils and you drop to taste for freshness. And then we will also add some water for consistency. So we'll start with a third cup of baking soda and half of a teaspoon of sea salt. So we have spearmint oil here and I'll start with 10 to 15 drops and we'll see if we need to add more later. And then we will add some filtered water for consistency. Yikes. All right, how does that look? It's pretty pasty. So here is our homemade toothpaste and we're gonna give it a go. So here's our toothpaste and let's try it out. Okay. Oh, oh my God, it's so salty. Yeah. Okay, but not bad for me. Mm. Oh, God, that's gross. Yeah. Wow, kind of got Wow, <laughs> that was an experience. Super salty. It tasted like if you were in the ocean and you actually got some seawater in your mouth. With some sand, like a lot of sand. Yeah. Because it was so pasty, I guess maybe I didn't put enough water on it, but it was like, it was um, clumping on the sides of my mouth. And then, okay. yeah, like muddy, like mud and salt water. That's what it felt like. And I didn't really taste the spearmint too much. I just tasted more salt more than anything. And, but my mouth feels fresh now. Yeah. Like I can taste the minty aftertaste of it. Yeah, the mintiness was mm -hmm. fine. It was very salt heavy in the beginning and then it kind of subsided as you brushed it all through. For me, the salt lasts the whole way through. Oh. I know for me, like when I wake up in the morning and I brush my teeth, I actually look forward to brushing my teeth because I just like the way that it makes my mouth feel clean and fresh. But the process, like, to use this toothpaste was painful. Yeah. I think if there was a way to cut down on some of that salty flavor, it would be pretty good, but no. yeah. But you kind of need enough salt for it to do the good to your gums and teeth, which is why they want us to use the sea salt in the first place, but. Or just add more spearmint, more flavoring. Yeah. More the mint tea flavoring. Just douse the heck out of it with <laughs> the spearmint, peppermint. Yeah. Will you be using homemade toothpaste from now on? Uh, maybe not that recipe. Maybe I'll try another one or try something else, but not this particular recipe. Just a little bit too salty for my taste buds. Yeah, I think if I were to use this, I would dread brushing my teeth every day, and that's not a good thing. No. I don't want to be skipping my brushing. Try it out and see how you guys like it. Maybe it's not too salty for you. Maybe you actually like the flavor and prefer it over regular toothpaste. Who knows? It'd be interesting to hear, so leave us some comments below. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our Curious Chicks channel.